another day, another demo in Auckland on Wednesday, when protesters flash mobbed commuters to express their anger at national government's decision to withdraw funding from the 24-hour Help Sexual Assault Crisis Line due to a shortfall of $116,000. And that means that the crisis line is going to be cut, so um, women who've been raped or sexually assaulted won't have that access to a crisis line in the middle of the night, in the middle of the night when rape happens, and in the middle of the night when women have nightmares about an earlier rape and feel anxious and, and need someone to talk to. The government can find money for things that it prioritises, like $100 million to consultants around the selling of state assets, but they can't find $116 grand for a uh, sexual assault 24-hour crisis line. Critics of the move say this will leave women vulnerable in a city where statistics show that one in five women are likely to experience sexual assault over their lifetime. It demonstrates how important the 24-7 telephone helpline is to the Auckland community, but more importantly to the survivors of sexual assault, abuse and rape, and their families and loved ones. Currently over um, one year for this telephone helpline, we field over 12,000 contacts, which is about 230 contacts a week. It's no longer going to be able to be provided a 24-7, so that the whole entire telephone service will not fully be cut, but the hours will be drastically reduced. If we take away that service, then it means that we're trying to determine when that service is needed by survivors, and we just can't do that, because we need to make sure that this service is available to them when they need it most. Social Development Minister Paula Bennett's recent reassurances that negotiations are underway have failed to convince these protesters, who say that the shortfall is the result of those negotiations. And with the cuts due to come into effect before Christmas, traditionally a time of heightened alcohol consumption, the issue is an urgent one for Auckland women.